Okay, so this is a drunk book review of Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimbro. For context, I am drinking whiskey and soda. Not real sure which kind of whiskey because it's in my awesome decanter that I got for my wedding. And I don't remember what I put in there. Anyway, so let's talk about the book. No, let's talk about background first. So, a friend of mine who shall remain nameless. Well, no, she won't. Okay, I lied. Her name is Kate Moretti. And she messaged me this morning because we have really similar tastes in books. Like, we like thrillery type things. And she was all, oh my god, you have to read this book now, like within the next two hours, or I'm going to cry. Because, wow, and this is kind of a quote, but not really. Don't, don't, don't quote me on this quote, because drunk. She said, it was the most compelling book I have ever read through 80% of the book, but she hated the ending. Now here's the thing with me and Katie. When we read the same books, we both go into it going, oh my god, this is an amazing book. But most of the time, our feelings over the endings are totally different. She'll say, oh, I love it, I love it, and I'm like, uh, not so much. Or the opposite, where I'll be like, oh my god, that was amazing, and she'll go, that was stupid, what the fuck was that? So, this particular example, she goes, I don't know what the fuck is going on, read this book so we can talk about it. So I read this book, I went to Half Price Books, super cheap, well, no, that's a lie, it wasn't super cheap because it's hardback, but I bought it anyway, because I figured, oh, I'm gonna hate it, I'll just, you know, bring it back, trade it in for other books, no, I'm keeping this bitch, because it was good. It was another perfect situation where she said, I hate the ending, and I went, this is amazing. So, spoiler free. I'm going to try real hard. Spoiler free. So, people who read Gone Girl, there were two camps. There were the people who thought, oh my god, this is the best book I've ever read in my life. And I was in that camp, by the way. And then there was this other camp that said, um, this is fucking stupid, I'm a whiner, and this ending, that is not plausible, and this is blah blah blah, whatever. So they didn't like it. <sighs> so, did I mention I'm drunk? Okay, so the people who didn't like it, I think, are people who don't necessarily... No, wrong train of thought. Okay, anyway, people who didn't like it. The people who didn't like Gone Girl are not going to like this fucking book. They're not going to like it because the thing you got to know about Sarah Pimbrough is that she is a speculative fiction writer. So I went into this book knowing that some weird shit was going to happen. And let me tell you, some weird shit fucking happened. But the thing is, weird shit doesn't happen for a long time. So... If you haven't read it yet, and you're thinking about it, and you're listening to this review, because you're awesome, then you need to know that weird shit is not going to go down for quite a long time. So just keep your eyes and ears open, just get ready for it, because weird shit's going to go down. And yeah, so when I got to the ending, I thought, because I'm I'm a writer, so I figure I know that, you know, th weird things are going to happen. I can predict it. I know that things are happening. Uh, about like 65, maybe 70 percent through. I was like, oh, okay. I know how this is gonna end. I know how it's gonna end. That's gonna be cool. I mean, it's gonna be fucking awesome. But I still know. So I went into it thinking, okay, I know how this is gonna happen. But it didn't. <laughs> no, that's a lie. It totally did. It did. But then the last chapter dropped like a fucking bomb in my face, and I dropped the book, and my children thought I was nuts. Because I dropped the book and I said, what the actual fuck, out loud. And there's only been one other book where I said that. And that was by, um, fucking what's her name? Um, Catherine Valente. Valent? Valente. I don't know. One of those. It was her book, um, shit. It was her latest book. Radiance. Radiance. That's the book. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great book, too. You should fucking pick that up. But, um, so it was like that, where the last chapter fucking threw me for a goddamn loop. And you know what I said? I said, this is amazing. This is incredible. So once again, 
Katie and I have come at odds where she didn't necessarily like it, but she, I, we've been talking, we're talking even as this recording is happening, so I mean, who knows? The point is, it's a fucked up ending, it's a fucked up book, but if you like fucked up things and you walk into it going, oh sorry, that was a burp, if you walk into it going, I know exactly how weird Miss Sarah Pimborough is, then, then. You're going to like this book just fine. Because it's got all your cool stuff. It's got the, you know, the 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 triangle of the the dude and the two women and like one of them is, has like low self-esteem and the other one is fucking perfect. Like goddamn, what's her name? I can't remember. She was on Doctor Who. She was Clara Oswald. It's like Clara Oswald. She's gorgeous and perfect and dainty and all the things that I'm not. And she was like that girl. And you're God, I lost my train of thought again. Okay, so it's all these things. And if you like all these things, if you liked Gone Girl, if you like thrillers that fuck with your brain so much that you can't stop thinking of it afterward, you're going to love this book. So that's, I don't know. You might not like it, and that's okay. I don't, I don't really care. I, I am Katrina. I am <laughs> drunk, and I have reviewed this book for your pleasure, and I will probably do it again. I hope you enjoyed it. Good night.